sautéed lobster, scallops with thyme butter. Gourmet dishes created up by top chefs in the comfort of your home. Christophe and Stéphane Boxy operate Belgium's most exclusive catering service. The two brothers have been standing side by side at the stove since their childhood and complementing each other perfectly. Two chefs, one shared taste experience. Well, they are identical twins after all. A little lobster sauce, which normally I hate, to be honest, but we make it on our way. It's very intense, yeah. uh, it's very intense, but has no dirty taste. We don't li like um, aanhaling the sauce. I like it very... Uh, we don't eat very uh, corset, the corset. sauce, we had a lot of taste. This is where the Boxy Twins' unusual dishes are created, on the outskirts of Ghent in northern Belgium. The modern design of their kitchen bears testimony to their penchant for experimentation. So this is the chervil root. Is it pureed too much? Or is it just right? Today, the Boxies are trying out a new starter, made with dried leek, chervil root puree, and egg. They make a record of each new creation, noting all of the ingredients down to the very last gram. The division of labor is also clear. Stefan is creative, while Christoph is pragmatic. His brother's creativity sometimes makes him nervous, but they work very well together as a team. You know, I often go to the, in the, on, on, on the catering and uh, and then I have something uh, on, on my list, and I say, oh my god, what's this? Phew, I have a problem. And then I have to call my brother to find out, but I know I, I can follow his thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's why we are twins. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, the, the huge advantage in no? between. And? No, nothing. <laughs> uh, that's the whole thing in between twins, is that I can, of I can often guess what you're thinking and what you're doing. The twins have made a name for themselves with their extravagant creations. They've written several cookery books and even have their own TV show. In 2015, they toured through Brussels with a hidden camera, sampling restaurant fare and doing what they like doing best. Eating, chatting, arguing, then eating again. Let's not name any names, but if two out of 20 starred restaurants are any good, that's quite a lot. But we're just not going to go there, otherwise things are going to get nasty. One is, is heavy, but two, you don't forget them. And especially the twins, you definitely don't forget them. And especially when he talked, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this twin pack is a marketing dream. Two for the price of one. The Boxies were born in 1961, and from the outset they were inseparable. They even discovered their passion for cooking together. When normal people play with um, cars and, and Leo and uh, Lego and whatever you can imagine and soldiers and things like that, we played with pots, yes, cooking we, pots. Yes, mother. In the sand. Mother told me we that. took the put the. I don't remember this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but our mother has a lot of imagination. So, no, we, 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 uh... One at the right and one, one at the left side. When she was cooking, we were all in boat, uh, looking how she did it. They opened their first restaurant at the age of 21 and nearly burnt their fingers. For many, it was too expensive and a bit too different. The crowd stayed away. But the twins stuck together, giving each other moral support and refusing to give up. Their persistence paid off with a Michelin star. that part on, we never bought a cookbook. No. Never, never. And if they, somebody gave to, to, you know, to make a huge pleasure, yes. they offer you a cookbook, we took the yeah, cookbook, yeah. poof, in the velba, garbage. <laughs> I don't like cookbooks. I don't like cookbooks. And we don't want to be influenced. No. Nope. Just our own style. They gave up the restaurant a long time ago and switched to catering instead. Tonight they're cooking for a small event but sometimes they provide food for up to 2,000 people. And even after 30 years at the stove, they're still worried about whether their guests will like their food or not. 
still have it every time to, to feel a little bit anxious, a little bit. Uh, my brother and I we always try to, to make food in which feel, people feel comfortable and happy. Because when I think of being at the table and eating is, is, is a big family, is having fun. After dinner, it's time to wash up. Even top cooks can't avoid that. But it's not so much work if they do it together.